Our reading this morning continues in the Epistle to the Romans, the 12th chapter. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. There is a very old and very cliche saying about the church that still rings true. Christian community isn't an organization, it's an organism. And it's an important distinction. Organizations have hierarchy, they have rank, and some parts are generally treated as more important or worthy than others. They tend to be treated as interchangeable. You can pop parts off and swap them around and the whole thing just keeps functioning. But the church is more like a living thing. There are many parts and they serve many purposes, but they are profoundly and irretrievably woven together. You can say one part of a creature is more important than another, but the reality is that if you start removing things, you're going to quickly find out that just about everything is serving an important function. To have a healthy and thriving community means that we need each other, not just for a social connection, but as critical components of this mission God has given us. We literally can't do it all on our own. So let's remember, you're an essential part of this living and holy community that God has created. And so are your fellow believers. We will only thrive as the people of God when we find that sober judgment and faith Paul is pointing us towards. Together, we can be a part of this amazing kingdom vision that God is unfolding in the world. Many parts, but one body. Many callings, but one kingdom and one mission.